Welcome to another episode of Passing Challenges. We are at stage 4 and 5 today. I rather enjoyed these two stages as they were not too hard and the spots were on the same maps. Here I'm looking for Burbot and Catfish. Burbot is pretty easy. First fish and I think... Yeah, I got it. You don't need to move, you can get them both on this spot. Once you get the burbot, you just pray that every bite is a catfish. And then you're like, no, another burbot, come on. Yep, this will pass the previous task too. Now the catfish is a lot more annoying to catch. Some people really struggle to get it. Can be harder than blue bream though. This was my first catfish on the spot. Unfortunately, not big enough. The best strategy is to watch a movie while trying to get it. Or do some other more fun activity on the site. One more small burbot. Ooh, I like the sound of this reel. After two hours, I was almost finishing my movie when this hit. My hopes for catfish were definitely high. This one had to be, just had to be. Kept the friction break very low, no, no risks. And after a few long seconds, I could see it's a catfish. Please be above 3 kilo. Alright, come here. Let's see it. Yes! Catfish done. I think this was the hardest one from this stage for sure. This is a spot for both Burbot and Catfish. I used the 2 zero hooks for the big Catfish. Oh, this was the net. A lot more Burbots than Catfish. Now the next mission is catching a 350 gram Vendis at Quarry Lake. Let's see how long this will take. First one in our net. This doesn't look like a Vendis. Oh, 75 types of fish for the telescopic tasks. Yeah, this is not part of the event, but still, I'm becoming master of the telescopic rod. I moved to a more active spot for the Vendis. The first one wasn't that great. Two things you can see the fish swimming in this part of the lake, and you can just. Snatch it when it gets the bait. Let's get a big Vendis. Oh! And that's almost trophy. Anyway, task is completed. It's what we needed. Oh, this one looks big too. Back to back. It would have qualified for the task as well. Spot is right there. And this is one of my setups. This is the other one with Diving Beetle. And now we need one more fish at Quarry. Uh, pellet for the other challenge. I never fished Pellet at Quarry. Didn't even realize they exist here. And this spot looks pretty good. We got a quick Pellet. And now one more. Five hundred grams, getting closer to the goal. Let's see. Oh, oh, bigger. Is this what we need? I think it is. Mr. Pellet, one kilo. Oh, perfect. This is perfect. You gotta get the boat to this place. This is the pellet setup. And on to the final map. Bewea. We need brown trout and a grey link. I was trying a few different spots to see what is active. First good brown trout. Tried another spot in the middle of the map. And was happy to see a grey link. But then I realized that you need to catch it with a 
drifting current, which means you can do it with a float. So not spinning for the grayling. So yeah, I passed a task from the ultralight, but not what I was looking for. So I switched to float with a fly and then go beetle. And look at this, a nice looking grayling. Almost one kilo. And there is another task also to get six species with the insects. So this counts for it. And this grayling is looking good. Oh, hey, got it. The grayling mission is done. I also get a gift. And let's see it. Coffee can. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the package is nice, but 50 coffees. All right, we'll take them. Now, I wasn't really planning <laughs> this to happen, but <laughs> I had a big bite on float. Oh, careful. I mean, this line was almost gone. This was probably the maximum amount we could hook. Perhaps I could get it. Very nice looking brown pelt. Oh wait, telescopic and stage five. I got, I got both of those. Awesome, another bag is here. Before we open it, here is the map for Grayling, and this is the setup. Now, my brown trout was pretty lucky with the float, so I thought let me find a spinning uh, place also. So here at 73.57 you can get some brown trouts. I just do straight retrieval at 25 speed and I catch them pretty frequently. Another decent size. I had these trouts in about 10 minutes with this setup for brown trout. Final thing to open a gift. Winter tail. Ah, it's a telestick. All right, we'll need to test how good it is. This was all for today. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time.